Hello to all my loving light beings. Welcome back to my station. For those of you who are new, my name is Sean Avon D. If you'd like to join the Secret Sacred Shadow Spirit Society, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. In today's video, we're testing out the Black Off Activated Charcoal Mask. We actually got this from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I'll include a link in the description box below where you can buy it. I believe it's as seen on TV.com. So before we even get started, let's read a little bit about it. It says, gets the ugly stuff out, actual size, show some of the things that it pulls out of your pores, removes blackheads, clean pores, clean pores, absorb excess oil, free cleanser sample inside. It says, apply, peel, reveal. The secret is the combination of activated charcoal, clay, rosemary, and eucalyptus extracts to remove blackheads, exfoliate, and tighten pores. So there's a little sample of the cleanser. This retails for $19.99. I believe it was $19.95 on the website. Gets the ugly stuff out. That's how it came in the packaging. So the directions for use for best results, pores should be opened up using steam or a hot wet towel, leaving face, face wet. Apply a mask to face, avoiding the eyes. Apply multiple layers as needed so that the mask is opaque. May be applied to target areas only as desired. When the mask is fully dry or no longer tacky, carefully roll fingers along the bottom edge until it begins to lift. Gently pull away the mask upwards to remove. Any remaining pieces may be pulled off or washed off with a hand towel, warm water, and soap. So some of the ingredients are water, polyvinyl alcohol, alcohol, DNAT, glycerin, charcoal powder, methacrylic acid, sodium, methyl, propane, Sulfonate, poly, copolymer, sodium, ascorbyl, phosphate, rosemarinus, officinalis, leaf extract, eucalyptus, globulus, leaf extract, bentonite, ethyl hexyl, glycerin, xanthan gum, and phenoxenethol. Warning, only use as directed. Do not ingest. If irritation develops, discontinue use immediately. If irritation persists, consult a physician. So it says to apply to a hot, wet towel after leaving it on the face, leaving face wet. So I'm going to go do that real quick, and I'll be right back. So I've got this hot towel, just kind of putting it over my face for a few seconds to open up the pores. It already cooled off pretty much. So it says to go ahead and apply it while it's still wet. So I do have this little spatula. I'm going to go ahead and use this hasn't been opened yet. We haven't tried it before. Um, I have tried peel-off masks before. I do have one um, from Walmart called So Fresh So Clean. Maybe I'll do a review of that in the future. But um, from using that, I noticed that it pulls out a lot of the little hairs. So I went ahead and shaved pretty much my face just so that I wouldn't be pulling out any of my hairs and it won't be painful. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to try to avoid my hairline as much as possible. I am not using a mirror. I'm just following what it looks like in the camera here. So maybe I'll go ahead and use my mirror just so I can see a little bit better. got a pretty nice consistency. It's not too watery. 
so it's not going to go dripping and running everywhere. So I'm putting on quite a thick layer. Let's say made in California. So that's awesome. Do want to be careful and not get any on your eyebrows, even though what little eyebrows I have left. Otherwise, if you do peel it off, they will come out. <laughs> so if you do get any on your eyebrows, be sure to wipe it off. But I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for about 15 to 20 minutes and I'll be back. Alright guys, so we're back. It's pretty much dry. I can feel a little bit dampness here. Not damp, but feels a little cooler. It was a little cool when it dried. Um, it did take a little bit longer than I thought. It was about 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and see if we can peel it off. It's not too bad actually, it didn't hurt at all. I do see a little bit of stuff here from around my cheeks, like a lot of peach fuzz. My face does feel really clean. When it was drying, you could sure feel the tightening effect. But I guess that's it, guys. I really like it. I'm going to continue to use this probably once a week. I actually might follow up on this with one of those nourishing masks that I have. Then I'm going to finish dyeing my hair. And the next video I'm going to shoot is a St. Patrick's Day look. So, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I enjoy reading each and every single one of your comments, so please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one.